Hello everyone, this is like a little warning type thing where in the following video that we're gonna watch there is, you know, scenes where it's a bit like gruesome to look at, right? Um, in terms of cellulitis or something along those lines, I think it's called. So just, you know, if you know what that is, it's just not pretty to look at. So, and towards the end, there will be discussion of, you know, taking your life, uh, to, to put it like that. So just letting you know, that will be in, in the following parts. Hopefully we learn something from it at the very least. Um, I hope everyone is well and take care of yourselves in, in more ways than one. Take care of yourselves. Hello everyone, you're here with H and you're here with another 600 pound life, my 600 pound life reaction. We're just gonna get right into it. Not an innuendo. I can't even get up anymore. And it scares me. Because I wanna, I wanna get up. Where was the warning? Uh, I'm just gonna switch, let's just, bef I might slap a warning. You know, at the start of this video, as I rewind so that I'm not zoomed into his legs when speaking, but I probably was, so I apologize. I'm going to put some sort of warning, I guess, that, you know, that was quite a scene to look at, wasn't it? I'm going to make the assumption here that someone is feeding him because him being 735 pounds, by the way, which is almost two Braun Strowmans. If you know the wrestler Braun Strowman, he's around 400. That's almost two of him. I'm assuming he can't get out of the bed. And I'm assuming someone, because of that, is giving him food. Which is concerning, of course. And I also want to clarify this from the beginning. There will be a lot more pausing, etc. More cuts simply for the fact that this being a TV show and, you know, TLC love to slap me on the booty. I have to do that just in case anyone is wondering. Didn't ask. My body is literally falling apart now because I'm so big. And I'm Man. And my legs are just starting to rot. James cannot take care of himself at all. I'm glad they blurred something. For the, for the love of God, I'm glad they blurred something. But, you know, I can't imagine how much stress is being put onto the family in this instance. Because I'm assuming he's being taken care of. Now, right now as I record this, I do have a cousin in the hospital. And he similarly is very large and he's going through organ failures like multiple organs liver kidney and his heart is struggling i will say the human body is an insane thing because i mean the last time i saw him he wasn't obviously he was bigger but not bigger as now but big and He's now in the hospital and he's bigger. So the heart to be able to have the strength to keep him going, I hope he can pull through. But when he gets to a stage where multiple organs are failing, I think it becomes a bit too risky or it becomes a bit too... What's the word? I didn't think I'd descend into emotions already, but... When I've, well, I, the last time I watched this, I got kind of emotional and we're doing it again. But I hope my cousin can pull through. Um, but yeah, at the time of recording, he is in hospital and he has children and stuff. So I just, obviously we'll get into it more as we watch more, of course. But I don't, if there is, if there's no medical condition involved, I just can't. Of course, I can understand stress eating, etc. 
recently I've been going to the gym because my mum, you know, she noticed I've had like stretch marks and stuff on the side of like my hips. And I said enough is enough then, in it? Because if she didn't essentially push me to go, I'm not lying. I probably would still be sitting in this chair after every meal having crisps or potato chips, if that's what you call it, and chocolate, etc., just to feel full. So I'm glad she pushed me to go. And I understand the stress eating side of things because I've been there. If you didn't watch Shay reaction, I'll put it up there. I go into more depth about, you know, my experience and stuff. I was bigger in the past. Not, of course, diagnosed as obese, but I was big. And it just wasn't a good time, right? Of course it wasn't a good time. And I just... I can't comprehend getting to 735 pounds. It breaks my heart to see that James is trapped in a bed and can't do the things that he loves to do. Okay. Don't let me do it hard. I'm not. I got you. Do you know, I will say there, when she, when she mentions he can't do the things that he loves to do, I'd love to know the backstory, right? Because the things that he loved to do before, did he not maybe tell himself that he's getting to a stage where the things that he loves to do are becoming harder and harder, so maybe it's time for a change, right? I know this isn't a full episode. Um, shout out Sean of Steel. I don't know how he... <laughs> I don't know how he gets away with doing full episode reactions, but you won't see a full episode reaction from me because I just simply cannot do it. But I'd love to know more. So in the comments, drop it. What's his backstory? At least uh, kind of maybe this is backstory, but I'd love to know more. She has to do everything for me, except for some jobs that are just too much for her. Like bathing me. Couple of my friends that come to help. Hey, I'll say one thing. Good friends, great friends, that they are coming and helping out. But I look at it in this way, and even in the scamfish reactions, I look at it this way. That if you care about someone and you truly love them, I know this might sound harsh. And I'm not questioning anyone's relationship, friendship, whatever, right? But if you truly care for someone, you would do everything in your power to make sure that their destructive behaviours are limited and ultimately, you know, scratched out of their life. Don't know why. I've got a scratch card, apparently. Oh, I've not won any money. So does that make sense? Um, my cousin, for example, he eats for stress, obviously. There's my uncle and the stress of like that side of the family and stuff like that. So he eats because of the stress from his sister and his mother. Um, but... He is married, but like, I just wonder, because I'm not there, right? I wonder sometimes, what's the conversations going on, right? I know sometimes you just cannot help someone, right? And if my partner was becoming unhealthier and unhealthier, I would do everything in my power even if I have to be just firm AF, right? To get them to slow down with, this, especially in this case, we're talking about eating and stuff. I'm assuming they would have mentioned some sort of medical condition by now. Maybe they will later on. But I really, I really would do my best and I hope everyone else would do similar. If you truly love that person, even if you feel like you're being harsh, you need to clamp down on scenarios where behavior is very destructive. 
because you just love that person. You don't want to you don't want to lose them, right? In I know a lot of these clips that I've seen online and stuff. The family says that they love them. They don't want to lose them, right? But at the same time, are you truly helping? Right? You don't want to lose them, but are you truly helping? If that makes sense. There will be a lot more talking in this episode, you know, than perhaps others. So if you don't like commentary, just click off the video now, all right? I'm just saying, because when I get more serious, I do tend to talk a bit more. So just bear that in mind, please. Because they don't have to cater to me. I mean... And it shouldn't be like that. Bro, this is where I'm probably going to turn up the harshness, right? Shay's example... I was as firm as I could be. I mean, him being 23 and that size, that was insane to me because he's around my age. Um, but in this case, you know, I forgot your name already. I'm sorry. I've got the memory of a goldfish. All right. But you recognizing that, first of all, I know how it feels to be a burden on someone is a very shitty thing. But you recognizing, cool, I get it, that's good. But at what point did you recognize that this was becoming a burden on people? Because this might not even be classed as burdening, but burdening, burdening anymore. Some might argue this is now their life having to look after you. At what point would we have drawn the line, right? Because this is not an overnight thing. Let's be honest here. You didn't become 735 pounds overnight. You didn't have this uh, caretaker. I forgot her name. I forgot everyone's name, apparently. But she didn't become your caretaker overnight. So at what point... Did you realize it was a burden? Because it couldn't have been yesterday, surely, right? Does that make sense? And again, I'm not saying it's selfish of the person. Because I know whatever is going on within his mind, I don't know. But you have to factor that in somewhat. But if you have the capacity to recognize that you are burdening other people with how you are, I'm hoping anyway, you would have stopped or worked on yourself earlier. If that makes sense. Bro, they gotta like blur this, surely. By the way, I'm about to rewind and go back onto what I presume are bed sores. So I'm not gonna, you've seen it, right? Can someone let me know what they are? I'm assuming they are bed sores. Um, and I'd like to, how do you get bed sores? Is it simply you just stay in bed all time and you get it? It's, oh, I can't imagine the pain that must be, right? When I have like a spot or something on my face and it's like a juicy one, it hurts. So I can't imagine having bed sores. And uh, once again, kudos to the family friend and the friends stepping in to help look it is it is you know a bit gruesome to look at let's be honest it's not exactly daisies and rainbows so oh i just thought of like i mean clearly you have great friends right and you feel like you're a burden on them it kind of goes back to what i was saying that i get it it's your body but at the same time, if you care about your friends and family so much, you wouldn't, you would do everything in your power to not get to this stage. But again, that's, that's what I would hope so, right? Oh, easy, Lisa. I'm sorry. Oh, bro. 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 Like, that's insane that we've just, you know, aired this. Just... 
Here you go, mate. You want to see soapy water dripping down your bed sores and shit? Yeah, here you go. We're, not, we're gonna give you no warning as well, by the way. Like, blur it. I don't understand the... I, I get it, right? On one hand, you've got to show this. You have to show this to people. If they are potentially in a similar situation, this could be your future. I get it. But at the same time, let's shitting blur it, please. Or give a warning at the start of the video. <sighs> By the way, him saying there, oh, easy, Lee's, it's cut. I've seen clips where people are very angry at the people around them, taking care of them. Let's get a grip of ourselves, all right? This isn't an easy task to do. I'm not saying he was rude in that scenario, but I hope that's just the extent of it and he doesn't become like a shithead here. Bah! I have cellulitis draining out of both legs. Okay, so cellulitis. I have fluid coming out all over. Uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't sound good. Like, I'm... I'm someone that I can watch, like, people being hacked. Not like... Like, in crime stuff, in movies, and there's like... Fing, fing, right? I can... I can deal with that, but that's crazy to me. I've heard of cellulite. I've never heard of cellulitis, you know, dripping out of people. That is horrific. I'm not going to lie to you. And sorry if the language I'm using is harsh. But let's be honest. If you are in a similar position, you need to be told it's horrific. Like, you're saying about sugarcoating things. Haha. Uh, <laughs> Sugar, right? This isn't about babying you, enabling. You need to be told it's horrific, right? Because this is bad. It's like a bit off topic, I guess. Back in school, there was a guy who came in to do a talk. Can't remember his name. Patrick, maybe? I don't know. But his leg was crazy, right? And warning, maybe skip ahead if you want. I don't know. But I'll try to be as least graphic as possible. But... He had to have maggots put in his legs from the sores. Obviously, he was abusing substances heavily, sharing needles, etc. And they had to put maggots in his leg to like help clean it out. When you have to rely on maggots to help clean you out, bro. Holy shit, right? And obviously, being young, they were obviously teaching us, you know, don't take drugs, kids. And obviously, you have to be shown that. that That's a wake-up call, if ever there was one. So once again, I get it. But goodness, I love how we've, like, blurred his ass, right? But the yellow shit draining out? No worries. Look at it. Look at it. That's... I can't imagine. Do you know, once again, right? And I, sorry again, I know I'm pausing it a lot. I have to. Even though this is a clip, I have to. But it hurts now. But it didn't just hurt now overnight, right? It was hurting surely before. Months before. Maybe even a year before. I don't know. Don't you... Man. Ah, look, I don't know his mental state, right? But surely, it's not in a great place if you allow yourself to get like this. So it didn't just start hurting now. <laughs> I know, that's true, it didn't. So surely, again, I liken back to myself, even a couple months ago, right? And by the way, I started going gym just a few weeks ago. Because of my mom and I saw the stretch marks, I thought that was crazy, right? I'm not a tall guy, I'm quite short. So me being bigger, it just doesn't, look, it doesn't look good in general, right? It's not healthy. But me being short as well, it, it looked like a balloon, bro. Right? Any, any of my Chelsea fans out there, when Nkunku blows the balloons, I was going to make a blowing joke there, but swiftly moving on, because Nkunku... Goodness gracious me. What the hell are you talking about? My chest was hurting a couple months ago in bed, right? I used to eat late at night and stuff. And I know I eat plant-based, so 
the majority of the stuff I eat is actually not crazy. But the fact I would eat crisps and snacks, chocolates after my meals because I didn't feel full. Just that mentality of like, I'm not full until I have this. I was hurting. My chest was hurting, right? And, you know, take it, take what I'm saying from someone. When I say, oh, you don't care about, you know, you could argue you don't care about your family because you're letting yourself get into this position. I know that once I got worse, I would have, or at least I hoped I would have done something about it. But I'm thankful that even just recent two weeks of going gym, I'm thankful that I was, well, I listened to my mum because how do I know when is, when it gets worse, right? I could die by then. So basically, if you are able to do something right now, everyone watching this, it doesn't have to be losing weight, right? If you are fit already, you're healthy, great. If you want to do something that you've been putting off, maybe it's something hobby-wise, something work-wise, do it. Do it before it's too late. Uh, what's his name? John? Jamie? I don't know. But this guy here, it's too late now. Well, I mean, it's never too late. But you feeling like a burden to your friends, and it's too late. You are burdening them, yes. So don't put things off. Every Do it now whilst you can. That's a whole lot of shit, but I'm sorry. <laughs> All I can do is lash out, even though everyone is just trying to help me. And I know my family doesn't want to have to deal with this. Well... They realistically, I don't know. If they don't want to help, they don't want to help. Do you know what I mean, I mean, I can't force people to help you, or you can't force them to help you. I'm glad also you recognize as well that you are lashing out, but stop lashing out. Do you know what I mean? When I had surgery years ago, my mum took care of me, and sometimes when she would. Uh, you know, change my dressing for the wound. I don't know why I pointed here. I broke my arm before, though. That was interesting. But anyway, when she did have to take care of me in that sense, I could still walk and stuff, by the way. I wasn't, like, bed-bound, but sometimes it would hurt. I didn't lash out, right? Because I know my mum to even be in that position to take care of me. I'm blessed, right? You yourself are blessed. There's four people in this room right now who, some of them are not even wearing gloves to do what they're doing. That's insane to me, by the way. But I'm glad you recognise you need you lash out, but you need to stop lashing out, right? I know it can hurt. I can imagine it's very painful. But these are the people, especially, I mean, you shouldn't lash out to anyone, but these people especially, you should not lash out to. Because it takes a mental toll on them as well to have to take care of you. You can tell that it bothers Bailey a lot by the way she looks at me. The mental toll? Ha! Huh? Sorry, what did you just say? Who is your mother? No, no, sorry, we need to go back to where the bird was, uh, you know, symbolizing freedom and stuff. But what you've just said there, if I heard correctly, that doesn't scream freedom to me. By the way she looks at me. My mom pulled me out of school because I have to help with my dad. I don't feel like that I should have to be a caretaker to my dad. Sorry, I was just uh, having to catch my thoughts there. Let's get off of that screen, please. I feel sorry for her. I forgot her name as well. But the fact that you've had to come out of school to take care of your father. So now I know he's your father. That's insane to me, right? We're verging on shitty behavior here, like more so than what you've just done to yourself. I don't see the need for her to drop out of school to to be a full-time caretaker. 
I'm I'm a bit confused. So someone drop in the comments why that's happened. Because now not only sure you feel like a burden, but your burden is reality. When I said earlier when I said earlier, this isn't just a burden, this is becoming these people's lives. Quite literally, your daughter can't go to school because she has to help take care of you. How does that make sense? That's pretty shitty as a father to, I get it, right? Sure, she might help out here and there, but to drop out of school? Like her future, her life, now revolves around you. Oh, I don't agree with that. I don't know if that's harsh. Let me know in the comments. I disagree heavily. I mean, I get it, but... I get it. But what about your life? In a few years' time... Maybe you want to get a certain job, right? At some point, you're going to have to get a job, no? I'm a bit confused. I, I, I don't understand why she was forced to drop out of school. That's pretty shitty. It is just a matter of time before one simple thing pushes your body over the limit and you die. You need to come to Texas, okay? Is this the mother, by the way? I'm assuming this, was the, this is the same woman who was earlier on with the red shirt. Is this the mother? Which brings me to the point, again, I made earlier... Who's bringing him food, right? I'm not sure whoever's bringing him food is bringing him salads and a plate of nothing. So I'm a bit confused. I'd love to see what he eats. Major issue in transport there. So what option we got for you to bring me down to Texas? You need an ambulance with wow. EMS on board to transfer him down to Houston, okay? Do you know, I can't imagine having to hear that, you know, like having to hear like you can't just simply travel you know, normally. It really puts things into perspective. So I hope everyone, I always say love yourself, right? But loving yourself doesn't mean loving yourself when you are harming yourself at the same time, if that makes sense. I think I gave the example last time of, you know, loving yourself. Oh, but now I'm going to have fries or chips every single meal throughout the day. Oh, but I love myself, so I'm not going to stop because I love myself, if that makes sense. Just love yourself, but please love yourself to the point where you want the best as well for yourself, if possible. Don't get it misconstrued. I know there's plenty of um, conditions out there which can affect your your weight loss journey, perhaps. But again, I can't put myself in anyone's shoes because I don't know your situation. But I would say that if you are affected by a condition or medication that perhaps alters your weight, don't fall back on it and use it as an excuse to further deteriorate your own body, if that makes sense. If it's affecting, like medication for example, if it's affecting your body and you don't lose weight as easily, I hope you're not just sitting down and eating bad foods for example. I hope you know, somewhat you're keeping active and stuff, just... Be doing something, small steps are better than no steps. Now that James is finally arrived in Houston, we can do a full examination on him and see how he's doing. His cellulitis is out of control. Bro! And he doesn't look to have lost any. We gotta have warning. For the love of God, how many times we have to have some type of warning before you show me that full screen as well, zoomed in. What's wrong with the cameraman? Are you sick in the head? Police! Police! Help! Gosh. 
So how is your eating habit coming since I talked to you last time? Much better. Are we sure? Get some blood tests on you, okay? oh, man, I, I know in the Shay video we got a look at what he was eating, and, and Donnie was, you know, deep frying bacon and shit. Like that's crazy. I'd love to know what he, Jamie James James here has been eating, and once again, someone's bringing him the food, right? So someone's in control of what he eats, kind of. I just like to know more. I know it's a clip, but still. Majority of this all falls on his girlfriend, who has been enabling him. Let me explain the situation to you. Okay, well, let me explain something to you. Let me explain. I'm sorry that I called you his mother. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. All right. Truly, I'm sorry. <laughs> what can you do? I'm sorry. Um, but I'm glad now that my theories have been answered slightly because someone has to be giving him food so it must be you i don't think you're giving him carrot sticks and hummus are you <sighs> see in, in cases like this right am i supposed to believe that you truly love your partner uh, let me know your thoughts Anyway, yeah, see? And I just have to uh, stick to the plan of making the change and going to the There is no we, it's you. Yeah. Oh my. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about, huh? Sometimes I know. You're bringing him the food, right? Donnie clearly is in no position to be helping himself at this point. He's going to need the support. Just as you wash him. I, it's insane to me. You're, you're needing four people to lift him to wash. But then you're turning around and not sticking to the, to the plan that the doctor has given you. It's insane to me. I don't understand. I cannot believe you truly love someone if you're playing a part in their deterioration. I don't know your name, but get a grip of yourself. You are bringing the food. You're helping him to kill him. If I don't bring it to him. I will pay hell all the rest of the day. How the hell is going to raise the hell in the bed? I was literally about to say, yeah. It's not like Donnie's going to come up and start chasing you. Do you know what I mean? He's in the bed. At most, you're going to get verbal abuse, right? Which is, oh, I almost swore, but it's shitty, right? I don't know if, if James here is, you know, susceptible to being the vulgar abusive type. But the way she describes it about hell, probably he gets angry, like, oh, bring me my food and stuff, blah, blah, blah. You say to him, F it. If you want food, go get it then. Go get the food then. <sighs> but I empathize with her because I can imagine taking care of someone who is going to raise their voice when they don't get food. It must be hella shitty. So I empathize with her. But you're also, as the doctor said, killing him at the same time. I've been trying to get him out of that bed. No, you are not. But if he did last time I talked to you, you changed his diet. It doesn't look like he lost any weight. Whilst she is to blame, we have to also, you know, go on to James as well, right? She's bringing the food, sure. I know it's not easy for him to turn down whatever he's being given. But he feels he's a burden. He, he feels that he's ruining people's lives. Turn the food down, right? Like, as much as it's a supportive thing, it, it's, a, it's a combined effort, it has to come from him as well. So... Respect, I do appreciate the fact that this doctor is coming for her as well. Because I said it as well. Who's bringing him the food, right? But it's, you know, we've got to focus on James as well. Not just her. On James as well. And by the way, if you do watch the scam fish reactions, if you're new here, potentially you don't. I'll leave the playlist up there or something. I would love... 
the way this doctor is speaking, right? I would love for the team to do the same, right? I know the Catfish team, they're a YouTube channel. You could argue the business needs to bring in victims to keep the channel running. So you're not going to, you know, hound them for their stupidity. But then surely this doctor is well paid and being firm with people. He always seems to have people coming to him. So it's just, I, I would appreciate it more. So if you're new here, we don't enable. I might get harsh a few times. It's just the best way to get through to people, at least in my opinion. You can have a different opinion, but I want you, if you do have a different opinion, to ask yourself, do you love the person that you are trying to take care of? Because you wouldn't enable them if you did. I'm not blaming everybody. I'm not blaming him. Look, if you all don't change the diet right oh. now, he's going to go back to it was, it was a flash, someone messaging. Actually, <laughs> you're not taking any accountability here. So technically you are blaming other people. Don't get me wrong. As I said, J James is at fault here as well. But she doesn't seem to be taking any accountability. So I'm a bit confused by this relationship, by the way. She seems to me as if she's older than him. I'm not sure where they met. Maybe they've been together for a while. I don't know. I mean, that just further solidifies my point. You Do you love the person if you're watching them wither away? But take some accountability, please. Get a grip of yourself. I have brought him the food, but I didn't get him in that shape. You got him he in broke this his shape. ankle and got in the bed, and the bed broke, and so the flood started retaining his what? leg. You feed me. Sorry? Uh, Donnie broke his leg, and he became 735 pounds? Oh, holy shit, then. My goodness, imagine I broke my arm and I became 735 pounds and I used that as an excuse. What, what's happened there exactly? Uh, sure, I'm not blaming anyone, but I'll blame his ankle. He, he did it. The ankle. It... Chat, what the hell? <laughs> that might be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. And I've heard a lot of stupid things. I'm feeding him like he wants me to, but I'm not doing it purposely I because I love him. That just doesn't make sense, does it? I'm feeding him the way he wants... Bro, of course this Donny is going to tell you to probably give him all kinds of unhealthy, fatty shit. It's you who has to be like, no. No. He's at fault. He wants it. Yes. His mentality needs to change. But at the same time... You are bringing him the food. Take some accountability, damn it. And I'm assuming this is now their daughter, since... Sorry again, I thought you was the mother. Do you know what I mean? What are you? An idiot sandwich. This is not a weight loss. I just talked to you for the first time. I like, what, four, four months ago? Four months is enough to lose 100 pounds. To get under 600 pounds. It's all about mindset, in my opinion. The fact that you've lost nothing is insane, right? I mean, I don't know four months ago how you looked. If it was you in the bed four months ago, that clip, I don't think anything has changed, to be honest. So in two weeks, I've been going to the gym. I've been on the treadmill for one hour, losing or, well, yeah, burning off, burning off 700 to 800 calories in that hour. Here's a tip. Uh, put the treadmill on an incline, right, to the highest you can, and speed of four, and it, it's like you're walking up a hill, but it, 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 it clearly it does wonders for my mental health I, when I'm not being bullied by the YouTube comments anyway. <laughs> uh. But I feel like I've lost weight. Like my jumpers are fitting a bit more looser. I've obviously been watching what I eat and after my meals, instead of having like crisps or something, I'll have fruit. So in two weeks, may, you could, I might have lost a few kilos maybe. Nice. You, I don't think you've made any effort here. And you also tried to blame someone else by saying, oh, 
but the phone call was four months. None of you seem to want to get better. Hmm? Yes. You know, there's not much we can do for you. Wait, did he? Did the doctor just say in four months you haven't lost anything? And he said, for real? What? Oh, bro. I did, even in just this clip, the fact that you don't seem to yourself even take any accountability. Sometimes you just can't help people, right? I say in the catfish stuff, sometimes you just can't help someone. I have, I have to eat something. No, you don't have to eat something. You have eaten 800 pound of food in you. <sighs> I have to eat something. Yeah, cool. You have to eat something, sure. Let's make it some grapes. Let's make it some apples. Or so. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. I'm not sure how many apples you would need to lose five, six hundred. No, six hundred. That would be crazy. Well, maybe. I don't know. You need the orchard. You need all of it. Get a grip. I need to eat something. Yeah, but that doesn't mean you need to shove your face with whatever the hell it is you are shoving in your face. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Cause... This is a very difficult situation. Who's he calling? Two key people. If you're calling, I don't know, the spirit of... I've got nothing. Stop it. Get some help. Make sure he's okay and stable before we send him out. Send him, send him out where? What, to just go back home? Because if clearly nothing is working, it might be more dangerous sending him back home, you know. But I'm not the doctor. So ultimately, you know, take everything I say with that pinch of salt in it. Because not too much salt. <laughs> Don't give yourself a heart attack. But take everything with a pinch of salt. I'm not a medical professional, right? So when I say like, I mean, realistically, look, when I say keep yourself active in some way, I don't think I need to be a doctor to say that, but... <laughs> For the sake of internet law, I'll say that. What did that just mean? One, two, three... Yeah, bro, come on, like... I can't imagine, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 10 people having to, to push you onto another bed, bro. The, the fact, as I said earlier, the fact you say, you know, you feel like a burden on people and your own daughter has had to drop out of school and you're essentially spitting in their face, your daughter's face, the doctor's face, by... Not making any changes, despite you feeling sorry for people, is, is is insane to me. Like, I don't believe you actually feel sorry for people. Dare I say you're just trying to garner sympathy for the people watching, right? You can't say one thing and not make changes. 735 pounds. Hopefully, James is not at the point of no return with his body. Oh, we're done. <laughs> We've done, apparently. But I'll probably go... You know how, like, in some videos we look at, like, an article or something? Because I do not want to test TLC, all right? I think one clip is probably stretching it enough. Like my stretch marks. <laughs> I'll find an article hopefully and we'll read it and get some sort of update like the most recent one so let's go right so I found an article I searched into Google James 600 pound life I did not expect what I got so if you look on the screen I'm pretty sure everyone is aware You've, you guys probably have watched this and know this. Well, my 600 pound life star, James King, dies at age 49. James King weighed 791 pounds when he debuted on season five. 
There is James. Again, I'm, I, I'm not surprised, but I am still shocked because, I don't know, I mean, I've never fully sat down and watched this show, but I just, maybe it's naive of me to just assume that everyone just gets fit and healthy, but I truly thought it would, but given the clip that we saw, they didn't seem to make any efforts to, well, either of them, the wife or James. Uh, James King, yes, appeared on season five. He died age 49. According to King's obituary, he died on Friday at St. Thomas Midtown in Nashville. Funeral arrangements for King will be made private in compliance with health and safety directives, the obituary said. King is survived by his wife, Lisa, his four daughters, Carrie, Carrie, Crystal, Courtney and Bailey, who I'm assuming Bailey was the one that dropped out of school or was forced to do so. I didn't see any of the other children. Maybe they were in the full episode, perhaps, or continuously throughout the season. His two sons, Damien and Austin, and his 19 grandchildren. Holy goodness, like rabbits, apparently. Do you know, this might be hella naive or just like stupid question. But someone of his size. Don't, you know, don't type in the comments. <laughs> Come on, I think it's pretty obvious. But, like, how? How does he have sex? Now, that might be so stupid of me. But, like, I'm interested to know, right? Was he having sex? At that point? Like, how old are these children at this, at this stage? Were they from before when he was fitter and stuff? I don't know. Shut the f*** up! Let me know in the comments. TLC made a comment on Facebook that the network was deeply saddened by his death. Our thoughts and prayers are with his family at this difficult time. There he is. And there is Lisa, I presume. At 40, someone else died. Sean Milliken. At 46 years old, King began season 5 at £791 the heaviest contestant ever at the time, following his appearance on the show, King weighed 840. King died after past health battles that included sepsis, oh, cirrhosis of the liver, li liver, according to TMZ. Shitting TMZ, bro. Just, they're everywhere, apparently. But I don't know what that is, cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, should I Google it? Will I be scared if I Google said thing? Cirrhosis liver. Apparently this Google just doesn't want to search anything. I think I tried searching during the main part. My Google doesn't want me to see apparently. I mean, if Google doesn't want me to see it, then... Right, cirrhosis of the liver. Uh, is scarring of the liver. The cirrhosis may not cause symptoms at the start. Later symptoms include feeling sick and tired, yellow skin and eyes, itchy skin and a swollen tummy. Yeah, but how do you get this? Common causes of cirrhosis include drinking too much alcohol, long-term liver infections such as hepatitis B or C, and being obese. Okay. To reduce your risk of cirrhosis, because we're apparently becoming a health channel here. Cut down on alcohol, be a healthy weight, and avoid hepatitis by using condom during sex and not injecting drugs. Well, thank you very much. I will make sure to avoid hepatitis. It doesn't surprise me, as I said earlier. In that small clip, it didn't seem like the doctor's plan and, and encouragement and words because words are encouragement and his, you know, his advice and he just didn't seem to have done anything 
So I'm not too surprised that he put on more weight. Now, you could say that the additional weight came from his health struggles, but then his health struggles, I assume, came because of the weight. And it's not even an assumption. The cirrhosis of the liver was because he was overweight. I don't know what sepsis is. I mean, I've seen posters of it. Like, when I go to, like, you know, doctor and stuff, sepsis. What is sepsis? I'm, I'm getting kind of scared. I don't like searching this type. Tangent. But anyone ever Google, like, their symptoms and they tell you, like, you're dying. You'll have a headache, but you're dying. So don't Google your symptoms. How do people get sepsis? It's an overgrowth of bacteria in the bloodstream. Okay. Uh, so like pneumonia. So basically, you get an infection and then the infection gets into your blood. That sounds scary as shit. Here is James again. King is now the seventh alum from the TLC reality series to die, following Henry Foots, Sean Millican, James L. B. Bonner, uh, Lisa Fleming, Robert Buchel, and Kelly Mason. What is Millican died at age 29 in February 2019 from complications from an infection. Bonner committed suicide at age 30. And Fleming 50 passed later that month of August 2018. Man, what the hell? Recommended for... Shut up. What is all this? I don't care about the rest of this. I do want to wish James rest in peace. And I do want to wish his family condolences. I hope... I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen his kids and stuff other than I assume it was Bailey. But I hope that they can look after themselves better. Um, I can't imagine Lisa mentally what she would have gone through following his death. Uh, obviously, it's firm. The doctor needed to speak with her like that, right? But then, of course, as, you know, when he passes, maybe she might have thought this is my fault, you know, stuff like that. It just take care of each other, right? If you truly love someone, don't let their destructive behavior consume you both. And especially the family. Still a bit, you know, it's still very shitty that Bailey had to drop out of school to help take care of her father. I I hope she was able to go back to school uh, in some capacity. Um, I hope the 19 grandchildren are doing well. My lord. That's a family that will live forever. I assume so anyway. You know. But. It's a bit of a somber. <laughs> somber end. To, to this, huh? I didn't expect anything less, to be honest. It ain't like the catfish stuff where I call someone stupid and then, you know, I turn the camera off, I go about my day. Especially sad to hear some of the other people who are on this show, yeah, you shut the hell up right now when I'm speaking about this. But it's sad to see that people have taken their life. I think I'll drop some links in the comments if anyone needs them if you know anyone that needs them um i ca i don't know i i can't speak on what was his name uh james the james lb bonner i i don't know i haven't watched his story um maybe that'll be the next one i watch but i don't know i mean without even seeing his story i don't think and i know i'm not in his shoes and it might be patronizing of me to say this, but it does get better. And I'm not sure, you know, taking your own life would be the way to stop pain. Um, 
don't know. Really. Hopefully you guys, you know, somewhat enjoyed this, I guess. Uh, if you do want to see more, let me know. And I'll try to find clips of them that I can use. And I think we'll, you know, if I do another one, I think we'll follow this this route of like, we'll look at a clip and then I'll look, I'll find an article about them that's, you know, giving an update because, as I said earlier, I don't want to put too much into, you know, clip-wise, just in case, you know, they hound my ass. So, rest in peace to all of these people. Um, obviously, I can't imagine being in that sort of pain. I've experienced pain because of my weight, but never to this extent. I was always able to, you know, on the cusp, I was always able to stop myself, you know, get back down. And then, you know, a couple of years later, I would go back up again, but I was always able to stop. But I, I do wish these people well. Uh, rest in peace. See you next time. If you do want to watch the Shay episode, I'll leave it up there. Uh, if you want to watch something similar, but not so similar, I'll leave an episode about a woman named Nina here. And see you guys later. Um, there is light at the end of the tunnel. So just remember that. And stay well. Bye.